me when I'm shooting food uh, in the photographs is really getting the color right, really capturing vibrant color and intense color. I think people really react to that. Without sort of exaggerating it too much is super important for me. And then also just really trying to capture the personality of the dish. I know that sounds a little odd, but I, I do sometimes like to look at shooting food like shooting people. You know, it's, it's a portrait of a dish, just like it's a portrait of a person. So I try to really look at a dish and think about it and try to figure out what its best angle. And I, I really try to spend a lot of time looking at the food and thinking about it before I shoot it. What's really great is if you can see a, a version of the dish before the one you actually photograph. If I'm at a location somewhere and I'm going to shoot a cheeseburger, let's say, like, can I see a, cheese, the, a cheeseburger to look at it before you make the final one that's going to be the pretty one? So this way I can look at it and look at it from all the sides and figure out what's great about it, what's sort of sexy about that burger or not, and then really sort of concentrate on that when I take the photograph. So, you know, color, composition, lighting, these are all the elements of good photography. And they apply to all types of photography, food, people, architecture, landscape. And I, those disciplines are really important when you're shooting food, not, not to just think about, you know, this is a yummy hot dog, I just want to photograph it. You gotta really think about that hot dog, you know, yeah. One of the most important things is the quality of the light and get that dish close to the window and use the daylight as your light source and not these sort of orange, yellow, green, red lights that are in a restaurant. And the food never looks good shot under that light. So I tell people, like, if you really want to take pictures of food in your home, get it right next to a window and turn off all the other lights in the house and just get that really nice daylight coming in. That's the number one thing I tell people is to get that good, clean daylight. Is that good? Yeah, that's great.